Hi, in today's video, I will be talking about what is a phase change, and explain the processes and physical changes that matter undergo. Are you ready? Let us begin. What is phase change? A phase change is a physical change that involves a change in form, appearance of matter, or transition between the basic states of matter, solid, liquid and gas. Phase changes occurs when temperature changes. Melting, freezing, evaporation, condensation, sublimation, and deposition are the changes that may occur when heat is added or removed to a substance. When solid turns to liquid, this process of phase change is called melting. Melting happens when heat is applied to any solid materials, it absorbs energy, making the particles move faster. The attraction between particles become less, thus, allowing them to move freely. This causes a solid to change to a liquid. Melting point is the temperature at which solid turns into a liquid. Some of the examples of melting are as follows. Melting butter in a hot pan. Ice cube turning into liquid water. Melting of wax. Melting of chocolates. Etc. The opposite of melting is freezing. If enough heat is removed, a liquid may change into solid. This process is called freezing. This makes the particles become closer, and do not allow it to move freely. The temperature wherein a liquid solidifies is called freezing point. Formation of snow. Freezing of water to form ice in an ice cube tray. Making of ice candy and refrigerating it. Solidification of melted candle wax are some of the examples of freezing. The transition from liquid phase to gas phase is known as evaporation. When water is heated, it evaporates. The molecules move and vibrate so quickly that they escape into the atmosphere as molecules of water vapor. The boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius. Boiling point is the temperature at which it starts to change into steam or vapor. Vaporization is the process by which liquid is turned to gas. The process by which liquid transforms into gas below its boiling point is called evaporation. Water evaporation can occur even without heating the water. Leave a glass of water undisturbed over a period of time and the water volume will have decreased due to evaporation. Some of everyday life examples of evaporation are as follows. Drying of clothes under the sun. Ironing of clothes. Drying of wet hair. Cooling down of hot soup or other hot liquids. Drying up of different water bodies and many more. When heat is removed from a material, the particles move slowly and closer together. This is how gas changes to liquid. This process is called condensation. Condensation refers to the transition from the gas phase to the liquid phase. Morning dew on the grass. Breath in the mirror. Rain falling down. Fog in the air. Sweaty drinking glass. Eyeglasses that cloud over. Steamy bathroom mirror. Visible breath in cold conditions. These are some of the common condensation examples. Another type of phase change is sublimation. Sublimation is a process wherein solid changes directly to gaseous state without passing the liquid state. Dry ice, toilet blocks and naphthalene balls are some of the examples that sublime and never get to melt. The transition from the gas phase to the solid phase is known as deposition. Deposition is the opposite of sublimation. A fire extinguisher and a frost forms on a leaf are some of the examples of deposition. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. Please don't forget to subscribe for more G8 science video lessons.